What's up YouTube, Eugene here. Hope you're all well. Happy New Year's Eve. For those of you celebrating, I hope it's filled with love and joy and all the things that will make your New Year's special. So blessings for 2023. Wishing everybody the best. Um, we're here. I want to talk about Persolase's top 10 best perfumes of 2022, which is amazing. Um, La Doulette Exquise was nominated by Persolase as one of the best perfumes to be launched in 2022 and i'm honored and i'm touched and i'm ecstatic i'm thrilled i'm i'm my heart is filled thank you so much personally for seeing la doulette excuse the reason this is so important for me and the other 10 or 9 perfumes that were picked by personally is because personally is um at the moment probably at the height the pinnacle when it comes to um, perfume critics, you know, his level of expertise is unmatched. There's nobody that's doing what he's doing. Uh, I would consider him right up there with some of my other favorites being Luca Turin. And I'm not sure what Chandler Burr is doing anymore. He was a, another great one from the New York Times. I haven't seen him do anything recently, and I'm not sure if he's still reviewing, which, which is a shame, but, you know, I, I do consider uh personally at the top at the uh, top of the food chain when 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 it comes to fragrance reviewing so um and he's kind of filled that role since katie puckrick left katie puckrick left this big void for a long time people were asking about katie puckrick and they were missing her but you know since personally has been here he's been here for a bunch of years now oh man i've been watching him for many years uh, and I've been a big fan. I, I don't go over and comment on his stuff because he's more serious and professional. And I, I just want, like, let him do his thing. But I appreciate everything he's done. I love his taste. I love his passion. I love his knowledge. I love the way he expresses himself. And um, he's just, he's great. He is, uh, he's got a sense of humor. He's got character. He's, he's just amazing, you know, he's. He's serious, but he's not too serious. He doesn't take himself serious. He can take a joke, and he's just kind of like this cuddly dude that loves perfume. And who doesn't love cuddly dudes that love perfume? But yeah, I, I, I do consider him one of the best in the world at what they are doing. And I can't think of anyone else, really, who I would throw into that mix, you know, um, when it comes to professional. And this is all very subjective. But love, I love, 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 love what personally is doing so thank you Dariush. this means the world to me to be recognized by um peers that love fragrance as much as we all do and to be accepted by uh the fragrance world for 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 the artistry of perfume and uh you know this was it's been an amazing ride. It's been an amazing personal journey for me. Uh, I'll be honest, I manifested a lot of this. I manifested that this would be acknowledged by Persolet three years ago. I would journal it. I manifested that I would end up on his YouTube channel in an interview, which he has invited me on in the next month or two or after the launch of the third perfume is all manifested. Uh, it was important to me and it was a way for me to believe in myself when I didn't, you know, at the end of that the end of the relationship where I went into that heartbreak and I felt um, unworthy, not good enough. I had very little confidence and I didn't think I was going to survive, to be honest. I didn't want to survive. There were times where I didn't want to survive, but, you know, I made it and I, I believed in myself and I, 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 I just had to change my life for the better. And I would write down all the things that I wanted, I believed in, that I thought I was worthy of. And I manifested creating a perfume brand when I had no business. You know, I was developing a perfume brand with Antoine Lee during the, the midst of my depression, my lowest state ever. But I just kept believing. And the way I believed is I would create these labels for my brand and I would stick them on the back of Christian Dior Privé bottles and look at them every day. And at first I was very uncomfortable and it felt awkward, but looking at them every day, you just become comfortable, you know, you get used to it. And I, I started to believe, and I would leave these labels all over the house, in the bathroom, on the mirror, I would stick them at work. So they're always in my face. They're always present. And you just, you change your programming. You start to believe and it's important for you to believe, 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 believe in yourself and, and think good thoughts and don't worry about bullshit. Don't worry about um, 
social constructs. Don't worry about fear. You, you, you got to get rid of that fear. And that was uh, part of the process for me is getting rid of fear and um, attachments of me and expectations. And I just got to worry about doing what's best for Eugene and, and not playing small to make other people comfortable. That was the most important thing. And it was, uh, it was a, it was a hard lesson. It was a big learning lesson for me, but it was part of the manifestation process, the healing that was part of the manifestation process through the perfume. I wasn't completely healed. Um, I was practicing it. I was working on it, but you know, creating the perfume and releasing it out in the world was part of manifesting my healing. Um, creating the rebirth of perfume number three was part of this manifestation process. You know, I want to become, um, I want to fulfill all my goals and dreams, and that is the rebirth of a, a dead man, a man that was left for nothing. Um, I manifested a, a five-star review from Luca Turin. So, you know, I'm still waiting on that. And if it happens, great. If it doesn't, great as well. But I manifested it. I put my best out there. I put the best work that I absolutely could. And uh, I'm going to leave it to the world to decide or figure out whatever needs to be done. And I'm going to continue creating whatever I feel is worthy um, it was, you know, I manifested working with a master perfumer and when nobody else wanted to work on this or touch this, none of the other flavoring houses were interested in my ideas or, or working with, you know, an independent on YouTube and nobody really, um, Antoine, Antoine saw something there was, he, he liked the vision here and he accepted and he, he nailed it. He's the true artist here. I'm, I'm just the person that is sharing their life experience. Antoine recreated this in the art form that I love most, which is perfume. So I'll forever be grateful to Antoine and his creative genius. Thank you, Antoine. I'll forever be grateful to Remy, uh, Paul Varel, and the Atelier Francais de Matier for providing the beautiful materials in this perfume, which they're exceptional. These uh, these compete with the best perfumes at Saks, at Neyman Marcus, the quality, the craftsmanship, and the price, $240. Yes, it's high, but it competes, and they're, they're still more affordable than the best things at Saks or Neyman, like Frederick Moll, like MFK, like Lilabo, like Killian, like Diptyque, like Byredo, like all your favorite other perfumes, this competes with the best of the best of the best. And I'm proud and I'm honored to be able to put something like this out there. So thank you to everybody for your support. It's been an absolutely amazing experience from the heartbreak, which I wouldn't trade. It was the greatest lesson of my life. It was the most painful thing ever, but I took it on. I went into it. I dove into it. I was able to heal it as best as I could and come out a new man, a different person. I'm happy for the result and I'm just going to keep keep exploring my life, um, keep going inside and discovering myself on the deepest levels I can. I'm going to keep exploring the world. I'm going to keep building beautiful relationships with all, all the beautiful people that come in my life and that are supportive of me. You know, I love... Uh, I love supporting other people as well and, and, and as people and relationships that help us become who we are and get us to where we need to go. So thank you to everybody. Thank you to all my viewers, my supporters, um, anyone that has purchased a bottle or a sample. Thank you. These are You can find these at lesabstray.com. Um, third perfume is coming out next month January 24th and this is also not to take away from Duletic Skis because I'm going to celebrate this for a long while but Desandra is um, just as special if not more special than La Duletic Skis and this is going to be <laughs> it's going to be a big thing I, I shit you not I'm telling you right now Antoine has uh, he's really outdid himself this time so Thank you, Persele. Thank you to all of you. Um, it's just, it's been amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I can say. My heart is full. I feel grateful. I feel blessed. I love this experience of a human life. Thank you to whoever is responsible for this life. Uh, you know, it's, I'm just filled with with love. That's all I can say. And it's the greatest feeling in the world. And I, I don't ever want to lose this. 
I just want, you know, I just want what everybody else wants and is to be happy. So, and, and I, I feel grateful and um, honored. Thank you, everybody. I love you all.